Everybody, you will not believe where I am right now. I'm in a Walmart in Montana. Who would have thought, guys? So Walmart, Montana, guess what, guys? Looks exactly the same as Walmart anywhere else. And that's perfect. I'm totally okay with it. Might you like me some Walmart, so. <laughs> but Montana's beautiful. I'm gonna show you what it looks like outside the Walmart. And everybody, just look at this. It is just, man. Welcome to Joel Hampton and Chris Watkins from YouTube. They'll be filming their double giant challenge today. Two two-pound burgers, two pounds of fries, two large milkshakes in 40 minutes. All right, you all ready? Let's cheer them on. Let's go. Right. Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we're in Drummond, Montana, basically just outside of Missoula at Parker's Family Restaurant, here to do the Parker's Burger Challenge. Very suiting, this is a very large burger challenge featuring a massive burger with all the toppings, lettuce, tomato, onions, sauces on a house-made giant bun served with a pound of French fries and a milkshake. You have 20 minutes to complete the challenge in order to get the meal for free. Otherwise, I believe it is, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks, something like that. That being said, maybe, I have been told, maybe requested that maybe we try to eat more. Maybe try to double this, which if we did, would be like over 10 pounds of freaking food and stuff, which is insane. So I'll have to see about that. But at least one, which would be about six pounds, five, six. And if we did two, we're talking 10 to 12, which is absolutely insane. It'll definitely, I'd probably be the biggest challenge in Montana, which of course that has never been completed. Um, no one has ever attempted, I wouldn't blame them. That being said, what else is really interesting about this place? It is not only a very cool looking spot, lots of cows, Drummond is known for cows, but they actually have 135 different burgers on the menu, which is pretty damn impressive. So, at that, we're here with my good friend, Mr. Scott Eats. We're gonna have some fun, eat some food. So let's go eat some burgers in Montana. Montana beef. Hi everybody, so here we are with the two challenges, absolutely insane, so the exact specifics. Eight freaking pieces of cheese on each of these, and the two pounds of beef, all the toppings on these delicious house-made buns, the massive freaking pile, you can freaking see, half see it here, of the shoestring fries, two pounds, they weighed up, I do appreciate that. Plus the giant milkshakes, I didn't realize these are 32 freaking ounces. I thought these were like 16 originally, so two liters of milkshake. So absolutely insane, again, no one has ever done two. We are dumb enough or smart enough to try it. This is literally Montana size, it's a huge state, and these are huge burgers and an extra huge challenge. Really fun facts about, you know, kind of drumming here. It's a town of 300 people, and there's 10 freaking thousand cows here, which is awesome. They grind their beef in-house, local, same as they make the buns. So I'm super excited to get into it. Very high quality, and it's a freaking 85-15. So you know they are preaching high quality Montana marble beef. At that, Scott, 40 minutes. Yeah. We got $70 on the line. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I better be. So, All right, everybody. Let's cheer on Joel and Scott. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get started here just momentarily. Restaurant's ready? Restaurant's ready. All right, so I'll be starting maybe count. Five, four, three, two, two one. Let's yeah! Go. All right, guys, I'm gonna start with some Montana meat, some beef. It is a state known for cows. Thank you. Oh. It is good. Mm. Oh, wow. Good job. The lovely flavor of that like char grill, that broil. Very juicy. And no, the burger is too big to eat it as one piece. Get some veggies as well. 
Mm -hmm. I actually really like these pickles. Scott's not a big pickle fan, but good pickles. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are here at Parker's in Drummond, Montana, here to do the impossible, to try to complete two, yes, two of their Parker's burger challenges. So I don't think anybody's even thought about doing this and they, like, that's for good reason. No one should even try to do this. Why, you know, Scott and I decided to try to, well, they'll just call it silliness because this is a lot of food. The base challenge is a pound of fries, about a three, three and a half pound burger, and then the giant two pound milkshake. How are you, Scott? Going good? Really loving this meat here. Fresh ingredients, you can tell the quality product here. Nice and tender, it's falling apart. Beautifully cooked. It's a very juicy beef. Mm -hmm. Especially at 15. Uh, 85? It's crazy. So the normal challenge itself actually weighs complete about six pounds, including everything. And then of course us doubling this, this was about 12 pounds of food, believe it or not, which is absolutely insane. The burger has a two pound beef patty. Then you have the eight pieces of cheese, all the toppings, the massive bun. And uh, yeah, so let's just say it was a lot of food. We did get to pick the flavors of our milkshakes. I went with a huckleberry and a uh, cookies and cream, and my friend Scott went with cookies and cream and a strawberry uh, cheesecake. All right, two and a half minutes in, finished my first patty. Jules finished the veggies and three quarters of his, so we're both doing really well. Very delicious. If you're not familiar with Huckleberry is, it is a Montana thing, and I will describe it a little later on, so definitely stay tuned for that, because I'll be honest, it was something I never had, and I definitely wanted to give it a shot and try. And then when it came to the actual um, burgers and the fries, what I did really appreciate is they weighed everything out, so they were super legit. You the base challenge for, you know, one, you do have 20 minutes to complete it, $35 meal for us, 40 minutes, hence two challenges, and a $70 meal, again, times two. I don't think the photo's really doing it justice. Dude, this is an insane amount of food. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Fun fact, this is actually one of uh, two restaurants in Drummond also. And yes, even though there is only two restaurants in Drummond, a town of 300 people, I think this restaurant packs enough oomph and spunk to make up for all of that. But the memorabilia the, and just like the amount of food and offerings this place had was phenomenal. This huge amount of variety, whether it be burgers and all their other specials. They had Coca-Cola, um, an old Sprite, old diner, old like, again, super cool memorabilia. They had a really cool and great variety of diet sodas, such as my diet Sunkiss there. So I also really appreciated that. A big patty. Actually, that's crazy to think, man. 135 burgers on the menu? Mm-hmm. Woo-hoo! Get it, guys. Let's go. And I just simply cannot get over and, you know, about how friendly everybody was. The staff were amazing. The people on Tana are oh so friendly. And uh, people come, you know, from Missoula and all the neighboring towns to this place for a reason. And that's just the ones on the menu also. They have specials every once in a while with different types as well, which is totally cool. One thing I also really appreciated was just the quality of food they were given, the quality of ingredients. Um, again, like for a restaurant using 8515, that's a really lean ground beef. That's actually the leanest I've ever heard a restaurant using. But the fact of again, just how like uh, how much that meat is marbled already, the quality of cuts they're using, how fresh it tasted, it was very impressive. Like seriously, uh, for yeah, very very impressive in regards to the burgers, the flavors, even those buns, like everything was on point. Everybody, we're coming on about five minutes in. Layer of cheese. Delicious meat though, delicious, delicious beef, definitely enjoying it. It is a good burger. But everybody, that's pretty much the majority of the information. Um, so with that, I will leave you to it. Here's a question for you though, guys. So I like pickles, Scott doesn't like pickles. Let me know what you think of pickles in a comment down below. And let's see if ultimately we are able to become the first people to complete two, yes, two of the Parker's Burger Challenges, um, which if you didn't see at the beginning, this thing was failed many, many, many times. It's such a, a pretty poor success rate. 
Um, and that's just for the single version, let alone somebody silly enough to try two. So with that, let's tune on in, see if we get the $70 meals for free, and let us see what happens. They also have a addition of, of course, my favorite ketchup, mustard, any sauce to stuff. I'm good, thank you. Ooh. We also do have some hot sauce. I do love my ketchup and hot sauce mix. Throw a little bit of Tabasco in there. It's green Tabasco. And uh, I gotta mention though, the hospitality here in Montana. Amazing. Second to none. So, so polite. Uh, everyone says hello. Says hi when you go by. So. Absolutely agree with you there. Getting the fries, got you all in the fries himself. Get some of these done. Just over nine, nine minutes in, or just over eight minutes in. Eight, yeah. I'm gonna say in half. Delicious, going real well. I feel like this is the first time I had a huge pile of fries in a long time. Mm -hmm. um, which, like, don't be wrong, fries have their place. But a lot of challenges sometimes have too many. But I think this is very proportionate. Excuse me, the one pound for the size of the burger, and they did weigh it out. That's what I appreciate that. It's a nice fries, but they're a little bit of hazard to the size of the mouth. How's that fun? Got a lot of sauce on it. So this one is, uh, we'll call it flaky. Doesn't sound like a bad thing. Down the bottom, base all fries, crushing it. Woo! I'm definitely filling up. I should have did the belt before I started. It makes some extra horsepower here in a minute. We're at 12 out of 10. Woo! Thank you. Woo! And uh, well, I'm making their way. All right, try this big old bun out. Looks nice. Oh wow! Flaky is a good word. Yeah. Really nice. I got the Oreo shake. So I was showing my wife the pictures in the hospital and she said that this should be no problem for you two. Mm. <laughs> well, thank you to your wife. Reminds me like a pastry. Mm -hmm. It actually is really flaky. It's delicious. And those are made in house, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had a bun like that before? I didn't know we had a bun like this before. No. Not that soft. Not in the challenge. Yeah. Very good. I'm going to try to clean my hand. I'm going to pop my belt. I think I got it, yeah. Ugh. A little, a little bit more horsepower. I 
with the cookies and cream and a huckleberry. Yeah. Which huckleberry is a Montana thing. So I've never tried it. Let me know if you tried huckleberry down below. You ever have huckleberry before? No. So I have to see what it's all about. The flavor makes sure you get And they said it tasted like, she was explaining it to you at the beginning. Do you remember? Uh, it's kind of like berry, <laughs> blueberry-ish. Yeah. Kind of. See what I mean? Fruity. About 19 minutes in. Milkshake time. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, man. Let's try this. Uh... Oh, wow. That's good, eh? Hold on. Yeah, what's the flavors there? I tried to describe Huckleberry. What's that? Blueberry, only sweeter. Yeah, you know, I'd say it's like All right guys. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah. So I'd say huckleberry. It's like I think mean, blueberry is the closest resemblance. Okay, yeah. Tastes like a blueberry yogurt. Like perfect blueberry yogurt. Yeah, got blue rain. It's unique. But I'm gonna try my Oreo cookies and cream tastes kind of like cookies and cream. Kind of like cookies and cream, yeah. Imagine that. That's crazy, eh? What'd you get? Uh, I got the strawberry cheesecake as well as my second drink here, so. Apparently they also have the best cheesecake in Montana here. Excuse me. <coughs> Whew, excuse me. Compliments. Even though this is sweet, Huckleberry mm -hmm. is sweeter. This, yeah, this, this is, is sweet. sweet. Yeah, really, yeah, Huckleberry yeah. is real sweet. Here we go. We're almost done. And we're done. Woo! Woo! All right. Is that it? Did we have the timer? Hit the timer. We got we got one here too. You can hit it though. Alright guys, so 21 22? Yeah, about that. 21, 22 ish? Yeah. 21 20. Uh, excuse me, comments to the chef. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Woo! Nice. Hold on guys. Uh, excuse me. Right. Got some air in me, that's sure. A lot of milkshake. We used to think like two liters of freaking milkshake. Absolutely. Woo. You like milkshakes? I love milkshakes. No shortage. I gotta say though, so that we did complete the challenge, we actually almost, I mean, we almost doubled it actually in the 20 minutes. Yeah. We weren't too far off that. That's right. But I gotta say, that was a very nice burger. Loved it. The, I think the bun is probably the best bun I've ever had on a burger, especially in a challenge. Just, it was like, like I said, it was, it was super soft, almost like airy. You're right, you're spot on with the word flaky. It was just, I really, really enjoyed it. It had a great crumb. And a nice sweetness as well to it. Yeah, kind of like a little bit of a brioche thing going on. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So that bun is fantastic. They make it here. The beef was very, very good quality. It was, like I said, an 85-15, so it's on the leaner side. But man, was it juicy. Yeah. Like I said, that, those cows here, they, they're known. Drummond and their Montana for quality, quality cows. Just having that really good marbling. They're getting the meat from local individuals here. So, and they make the buns, they make the sauces. Pretty much as close to home as you can be. So I think that's super cool. Um, again, this being a community hub, literally one of two restaurants in the area, 
I think it's actually pretty awesome they have a burger challenge here. Yep. And I forgot to mention this earlier. This thing was failed. Like this, there's about 150 attempts on this. There's only about 20, 25 winners. So this thing has been failed like 125 times approximately. So lucky today though, we are not going on the failures list. We're going on the winners list. And we are the first people to double this challenge. Not that I recommend anybody else try to double this challenge. That was a lot of food. I'm I'm pretty full. I'm very full. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, that was awesome, Scott. What did you think of the challenge? Loved it. Yeah, it was a great challenge. Loved the food. Very tasty. Quality ingredients. I mean, went down nice and easy. Gotta love uh, finishing off with the you know delicious homemade milkshakes. We, we had dessert and a meal together. It's a win-win. Also, shout out to the staff. Oh my gosh, um, Chef Brent, one of, like the owners here. Everybody here, everybody in Montana has been just so nice. It's actually insane. But yeah, super friendly people. I loved it here. This was an amazing experience um, and they really made it. I would absolutely 100% support this place. If you're coming from Missoula or anywhere, it's worth the 50 mile drive. Uh, they have a whole bunch of Coke memorabilia. It's really nicely decked out. And we get the $70 meal free. So it's pretty cool. And the $35 buy-in for that is pretty reasonable yeah, actually. That is. So it's like, that's a huge, huge burger so anyway but until next time of course i have a hungry happy eating montana you're awesome and you're huge until next time have a lovely day everybody the time has come not for me to shave my head for you to subscribe so click my face right here subscribe click one of these two videos i picked just for you and exciting news we also have a new channel so if you want to watch challenges raw uncut so you get to hear what the audience says hear my real thoughts opinions noises etc link down below joel hansen raw so check that out appreciate y'all until next time well i'll see you in a minute click on these videos